You're watching Explore Tulsa. As I was younger, my mom, they, all, they would always play music around and I would just, just dance like Michael Jackson. I would see videos of like Usher and I'm like, I always want to do that. I want to like glide around. So I would always like just glide around my room. My mom would put me in like different types of musicals and stuff like that. So that's how I ended up go, go, having a love for just like the arts in general and stuff like that. When I was in high school, I, jo I joined a show choir, the Jinx Trojan Airs at, at Jinx High School. And um, my uh, teacher, Larry Downey and uh, Mrs. Hester, they were always commenting, they were like, Chris, you know, you can dance, you can dance, you should be a dancer, you should be a dancer. And I'm like, mm, maybe, you know, I can, I'm, I can move, I can move, but then they kept on pushing it and like, like, you really have this talent. And I said, okay, maybe, I guess I'll just try it. And just from there on, I just continued just like, to take, like, like I said earlier, take class and just meet different people to help like hone me in and um, figure out who I was as an artist and stuff like that. From there on, I was like, I, I have to do this. I have to learn. I want to grow. I want to become better. I want to be great myself. So it took me just being in the studio and just taking class upon class upon class upon class in order to gain, to gain that knowledge of dance and to gain that knowledge of my body to become a better dancer and to become a better artist. Um, it, it's a lot of training. We're, I say we're athletes because we push just as hard as the, your football player, your basketball player. We just don't dribble the ball. We just you move our body all day, every day. So I feel like we're athletes, no matter what anybody says. I, I do freestyle because I feel like as a dancer, as a dancer and a choreographer, you have to be able to freestyle in order to create uh, different pieces and different sets and stuff like that. So yeah, I do freestyle, but right now I do honestly focus more on the choreography side of it and uh, creating different pieces and uh, choreography for music videos and like like here at the studio competition pieces and stuff like that. So right now I do a lot of um, competition choreography for. Uh, uh, tons of studios in Oklahoma. So here in Oklahoma City, um, I've actually choreographed for Brian Nira. He was on NBC's The Voice season 10. So I've done, I think, three of his music videos. Um, I've competed in the uh, Hip Hop International, which is the Olympics of Hip Hop. We've actually we got 13th place in the United States. We didn't make it to um, the national the national level, but we did get 13th in the United States. When you're teaching somebody to dance, you're just teaching them just like the fundamentals and the way to express. But when you come in, when you're like choreographing for artists, you have to come with the whole vision of what you want, then come in with the choreo, then come up with the different formations and the way that's, that's going to look. And it's a lot. It can get stressful, but then you go back and remember this is what you love to do and you wouldn't be wanting to do anything else except that. So I always, um, I was thank God and just like, I'm happy of what, I'm really, really happy I get to do what I want to do, because um, a lot of people don't. I created a video to Bruno Mars called Finesse, and so um, I had everybody like tagging and stuff like that, and then a few weeks later, come to find out he puts out this montage of uh, videos of his, uh, people dancing to his song, only like 18 people out of thousands out of thousands uh, got on it and I look at I'm watching it and I there it is there's my video and I literally I'm literally in the studio and I drop and throw my stuff out and just totally freak out because I'm like Bruno Mars just like like my video and put it on there and put my name in the credits I'm like this is crazy this is crazy so I can't help but to smile honestly because I'm like Wow, I've always wanted to do this growing up. I've always wanted to be in music videos. I've always wanted to dance in music videos. I've always wanted to be that person. And now that I get to see my work on YouTube and on TV with millions of views, most of those music videos that Brian has out has over a million views. And I'm like, this is, this, I helped put into this. I help, <laughs> I help this. So it's just really cool to see.